Hi, my name's Judy Pine. I'm a music education consultant and director of the catalog here at West Music Company in Coralville, Iowa. In my work, I'm asked by a lot of teachers and consumers the difference between all the different lines that sonar orf instruments make. So today I thought, well, let's just get out the four different alto xylophones and play them a little bit and talk about what is similar and what's different with them. So to keep it simple, we have the good, the better, and the best. Let's learn a little bit more about these instruments now as we talk about them individually. Um, to first start off, let's talk about some of the features that are similar. All the resonator boxes all have glued seams. There's no screws used with any of them. Also, they all have flexible rubber pins that I'll show you later. Flexible rubber pins with the bars, as well as a cording now, instead of tubing that would dry or look like dead worms. Whenever I tell that to a teacher, they always go, oh, those look like right like my instruments do. All those parts are available, so you know. The other part is that they're all German engineered. They're not all made in Germany anymore, but the Germans worked hard to make sure that each of these instruments was the best quality it could be for the value. And we know that budgets are tight today, so that's why we have a good, a better, and a best. Let's first talk about the good line made out of sonar. It's called Global Beat. The interesting thing about this instrument, it's, it's the typical C to A ORF instrument, meaning an octave and a sixth. And that's the standard type of ORF instrument. The bars are picked up like you're a helicopter coming up. It's always best to use two fingers with any instrument. What I like about this guy is that we'll just take a couple of bars off is right here on the inside, you can see the note names of where I'm to put those bars back. That's helpful on a busy day when you just can't think, or maybe you have some hotshot kids that want to help you put the instruments back together. The Global Beat, the bars are made of fiberglass, so they really, they ring a little bit more than a, re than a rosewood bar would. Let's play it a little bit and see. I'll move up to the next octave. I hope my mallet technique was correct. I don't play ORF instruments at my desk very often. What I like about the sonar instruments always is that the note name is in the middle of the bar, right where you want your students to play. As I talked earlier, there are flexible pins and cording, which is easily replaced. If you need help, give me a call or send me an email. That's what I'm here to help you do. In order to keep the value of the Global Beat affordable, they're only made in the diatonic range, which means it's like the white keys on the piano. There are F sharps and B flats, so you could play in pentatonic and um, some minor keys, major and minor keys, but there isn't another resonator box that has C sharp and D sharp that you'd actually take your F sharp and put it on that box. That's not a value here on the global beat because again, that would cost more. What they have done is they have a nice little bag here that you could actually store your F sharps and B flats and your mallets in, which is kind of handy to have. Next, let's talk about the good brand of ORF instruments from Sonar, and that's primary line. Once again, just as on Global Beat, remember we have a, a no seams, all glued. What's different about the primary line is that the resonator boxes come from for us that are FSC certified. That means that those for us 
are properly maintained so that they're well taken care of and that the wood is easily um, uh, it's planted again so that it's, it's a well-maintained forest, which is good to know. The, the shellac that's used is eco-friendly and it is non-toxic, which is also important in our classrooms. These instruments could be cleaned with anything that you could clean wood with. So you'd have to keep that in mind. The difference between primary line from sonar, a little unique, is that instead of, I'll pull one of the global beads off too, instead of the hole at the top of the bar, like on global bead and ORF instruments you may be used to, primary line decided to put it on the bottom, just a different look. The other thing is the, the note name is still in the middle, but what primary also did is they also added um, the scale so that you could see that where the note fits on the staff so that middle C is actually the line below the staff, which can be helpful for you. What's really unique about primary line is that, and actually about sonar in general, is when improvements need to be changed, sonar makes them. They don't just change things to keep the cost down. They change them because of the value of the instrument and they want the sound to be better. So what Sonar did on the primary line that's very interesting is it kept this look, the narrowing to the end, but in order to enhance the sound, they added a chamber and then this little ledge in here with two holes. Now you have to be careful. Your kids don't think that's where the mallets go because we know that's not true. But what it did is it let that low C really sing, really help those low notes. Again, primary line has the note names inside so you know right where to put the bars. All features and benefits of primary line. The wood comes from Africa. It is called para rosa. It is a rosewood bar which allows for a nice crisp sound. Let me put these bars back on and I'll play a little bit for you. Remember, I'm not the virtuoso I might have been back in the days of level three. Let's, here we go. Ooh, that wasn't right, was it? I need to cross my mallets. Don't show this to your children now. A nice crisp, crisp sound. Here's the global beat. I'll let my camera find me. Remember this fiberglass rings more. Let's go back to the primary line. The primary line is the, the, be, the better line so that it's medium priced medium quality and durability. It does have a two-year guarantee if a bar cracks, which seldom happens, but if a bar cracks, you do have a two-year guarantee. Or if a pin breaks off, Sonar is very good about that. The Global Beat has a one-year guarantee. So again, this is the better value. Primary line, made by Sonar. Now we're going to talk about the top of the line ORF instruments from Sonar. The best of the best. They have fiberglass and Meisterclass. We're going to start out with the fiberglass instrument. This was the one I fell in love with when I taught school because what's really unique about it is it's a two octave instruments. The other two instruments we looked at went C to A, an octave and a sixth. For some reason, and I really don't know why, Sonar decided to add two more notes, actually three with the B flat, but it gives you two full octaves, C to C to C. What's really nice then is in working with Sonar, we finally got them to add two pair of mallets. 
So in those days when you want to make sure everybody has a turn or you want to get through things quicker, one student could stand here or kneel, however your classroom is, on this low octave. And another student with the second pair of mallets would be on the second octave. I used it when I had one student that had a really good steady beat and the other student that needed a little help so that you can just see it. Here, these are the notes. So that they help each other. So I'm sure it's one of your goals now. So back to the sonar. Again, no nails or screws. What is interesting is on the end of, and I forgot it on the primary line, but primary line and sonar, Meisterklasse, both have these leg plates. So they're ready for the sonar uh, stands or legs. Um, let's see. The inside of this resonator box, I'm going to pull these off and try not to make too much noise. Remember on the primary line, there was one separating chamber. I didn't pull them all off because there was only that one. On this one, on the tenor alto fiberglass, there are actually three different or four different chambers, three different baffles, which means it really helps the sound for every chamber. The same as on the rosewood when we get there. All right. It's all about the science of the sound so that the overtones ring properly. Uh, these instruments, the low octave are tuned A440 and these are tuned to the fundamental. It's been a while since I've been in college. I should probably ask the difference of my daughter or my husband, but you'll just have to believe me when I say that's what it is. You can see it doesn't take very long. But I, to put the bars back, but I do have to think about it a little bit because there aren't note names on the inside of this one, which is fine. On all the ORF instruments, there's always a spot for one set of mallets to go and the lovely sound of the two octave instruments. If you want to get a nice glissando, that works as well, because none of these chambers, these baffles, sit up higher than the bars. It doesn't happen with every instrument. This is the fiberglass instrument, the Meister class of fiberglass by Sonar. Now we're going to look at the rosewood. I learned something new today when I pulled these out of the box. This is the Meister class of rosewood. These, this rosewood, it comes from Brazil. Sonar has a nice little pamphlet inside each of these instruments now. And I, as I said, I learned something new. It says, due to the special structure Amazonia's rosewood has, extraordinarily, has extraordinary sound quantities and is irreplaceable for the making of musical instruments of all kinds, guitars, pianos, orf instruments. We purchased the wood from controlled felling, which is strictly enforced by the Brazilian Forestry Office with all required documents and a thorough certified importer. It's worth mentioning the echo and healthy, friendly treatment of the wood with a coating based of shellac, as well as on the fiberglass, and that these instruments really are well made for your classroom. The resonator boxes are all pine, pine wood. They are plies, but there's no fillers in the plies. It's solid plywood or um, different plies of wood. Just as on the fiberglass, there are two pairs of mallets. So you can have one student on this octave, another one here on those days, and you put that pair of mallets away. The mallets sit here. All sonar instruments have easy handles, so they're easy to pick up. Both of the tenor alto, tenor alto octave instruments comes with 
two F sharps and two B flats so that you're able to do a little chromatic work with this. Both the fiberglass and the rosewood as well as the primary line all for an additional fee. You can also purchase another resonator box where it comes with a C sharp and a D sharp. Oh, and then this F sharp goes there. There's a G sharp, then the B flat. You understand how that goes. It's always a little confusing. I learned the hard way when I first started here at West Music, but that's how that all works. Many times in elementary schools, chromatic, that additional expense is not so affordable. So then I encourage teachers to look for a glockenspiel with the chromatic edition. That's less expensive. Or if nothing else, play it on a recorder. Play that C sharp on the piano. Show that to your kids so that that all works. So again, here we have the best made by Sonar, whether it's rosewood or fiberglass. We have the better from Primary Line, and then we have the good from Global Beat. The features and benefits increase with each instrument as well as the price. If you need assistance with how to find, make just the right package for your situation, give me a call, send me an email, jpine at westmusic.com. I love to create custom packages for educators or in a church or a therapy session to mix the right xylophone and glockenspiel with a couple of drums and some rhythm sticks. It's what I do. I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for listening today.